So I don't normally watch these movies that have a lot of big actors in it because you feel like some of them get forgotten about and the movies spread way too thin. I am very glad I took a chance on this one. Sharper. So I'm going to say this one right out the gate. Sharper has layers to it. And that is part of the reason why this one massively surprised me. This movie comes in with a lot of good talent that you'd want to see in the spotlight. They all are in the spotlight, but they don't take away from each other. And that is down to one very stylistic choice this movie made. One I'll come into after I tell you what this movie's all about. So as we kick off, we're following Tom. For a while, I was watching this movie, trying to work out where I knew him from, because I could not place his face for the life of me. It wasn't his face I should have been focused on. It was his voice. If any of you have played the quarry, you're going to recognize this man's voice in a moment. Um, there's actually this little Japanese restaurant on Mott Street. I'm not letting her kill Chris. No way. Not, not over some old timey poem. There you go. You're welcome. I just saved you about a half hour of frustration to yourself or a Google search. Tom seems very low key. We open up with him. He's running a little bookshop and he meets a girl. He seems very quiet, very introverted. You know, he's not exactly got game or the chat for the girl, but he seems like a good egg. So we're with Tom. Sandra comes into the store and they start a relationship. And with the opening to this movie, we see their relationship grow and blossom. You know, Sandra's brother turns up and just creates a bit of havoc. So we don't quite know where the movie's going at this point. I mean, the blurb is talking about some big billionaire and we're yet to really come on to that. But their relationship sadly comes to quite a swift end where because of her issues, she needs a bit of money. Let's say a bit of money, I mean like 350,000. It's a little bit of money. So Tom being the good egg that he is with like a billionaire dad, he gets the money, he gives it over to Sandra because this relationship seems like it's going somewhere. Because they plan a meet up after they get the money, Tom's there and waiting, Sandra dips hard. Now we come on to the stylistic choice of the movie. So after that opening sets up Tom and Sandra, we then cut to Sandra. And from here, we see the kind of steps before she met Tom. You know, what led her into that position? This is the part of the movie that I just love. It seems like people online are calling it twists. You know, the movie's got far too many twists in it. They're not twists. I don't feel it's fair to call them twists because they're more just reveals. You know, we're peeling back the layers to these characters, but doing it in a way that yes, there's twists and revelations, but it's not like it's changing the whole narrative of the movie. It kind of is. Like, they're not twists. I'll die on that hill. What we learn is that Sandra's a con artist. We learn that she's out on parole. She's one of these people that's down on her luck. She has a little bit of addiction problem. Just a little bit. And she just does not have a direction in life. And this is where we get introduced to Max. And once Max is in the story, this movie just takes off because you start to understand what the movie is going to be doing. Where we had Tom and Sandra, so you get a couple of characters and then it will end their little part. Then it cuts to the preceding story with one of the characters following over, meeting a new character. That comes to its end and you get one of those remaining characters, another new character with what's preceding that. And we kind of just move backwards through this story to what led to Tom forking over 350,000. So there are a lot of characters here and a lot of fantastic talent. And I'm not gonna go through all of those reveals for you or twists, because I don't want to take that away from you when you're watching this. You can't quite guess what's coming next. But what I will say is the movie does a fantastic job of coming full circle. For the whole movie, we're not just going backwards in time and showing you what led to each moment. Eventually it does come full circle once you understand each of the characters but thankfully for each person on screen here they all done a fantastic job within their roles you've got kind of a main five here five of the most recognizable faces or voices me and those characters are great they all nail the role but as this movie is proceeding backwards and these new characters are getting introduced we learn more about ultimately tom and his billionaire father coming towards the end of his life and how each of these people are a big player in that not that any of them necessarily caused it i'll just say that right out the gate but the movie is all about manipulation it's about trust it's about people doing whatever they can to kind of hustle their way to get some money and then the friend you make along the way there can you really trust them that is what this movie is painting for you and it's one that i think they fucking nailed just when you think you know what a character is all about it will cut to what's preceding it and set them up and just to give you one more layer that makes this movie so good is the fact that because they're showing you a scene and then what preceded it there's a lot of moments that you realize they have a different narrative to it once you understand the true motivation. So it's one of those ones that when you're watching it, you're of course invested in what's gonna happen next, but you do keep thinking of what you've just seen with the new information you have, 
and how it paints a completely different picture. It's just great. I had a great time with Sharper and it kept me on my toes. So look, with all that being said, where would I be putting Sharper? If you're enjoying a movie that is a kind of crime drama thriller, difficult to really pin this one down, but really one that has a lot of revelations throughout the movie. Call them twists, Call them reveals, call them whatever you want. This movie is peeling back layers throughout the entire thing. That's your cup of tea. Change your plans for this movie. As I said, for ones that are these big cast movies I very rarely go into, but the way that they've structured this movie and that you're getting just kind of different set pieces, bringing in a couple of characters at a time until ultimately they're all on screen together, no one feels like they're stealing the spotlight away and no one feels like they've just been cast aside. It is a good balance that they've made here. The story itself isn't anything that is going to be absolutely groundbreaking, but the way in which they've introduced the story is what makes it. You know, if this movie didn't do that whole preceding thing and it just played out in chronological order, it wouldn't be anywhere near as good as it is. That being said, this is the way you do a movie like this. As I said, you're going to be seeing them on screen, but you've got some big names in this movie and they all crush within what they're meant to do. Now look, have you seen Sharper? Do we agree or disagree? Please do let me know. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. It'll keep you up to date with these movies coming out and you're going to make my day. But with all that now being said, and as always, thank you so much for watching.